What's up guys, my name is Witty and we are back on Power World today to kind of give you guys a guide on how to install all of the mods in Power World. And there are a couple different methods and of course it will be different if you're on Steam as opposed to the Game Pass. But we're going to talk about both of those methods in this video, so nothing to worry about there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first things first, we're going to talk about how to install these mods using the Steam version of the game. First thing you need to do is make sure you have Power World completely closed. As we are going to be modifying the files, you're going to need to have the game closed in order to make sure things are done properly. We are going to find a mod that we like, and for this example, we'll be using Pal Analyzer here. Essentially what this does is when you hover over mobs, you can see their IV values, among other things. It will show you a little description here once you have clicked on the actual mod itself. I would only recommend downloading mods from Nexus Mods or CurseForge, which you may be familiar with if you've ever modded on Elder Scrolls or Minecraft or any other game like that. I wouldn't personally recommend using any other method of obtaining a mod just because it's not the best idea to download files from a random person that made something on the internet. Just generally bad practice. So stick to these two websites if you can and let's get started on this. So as you can see, there are a lot of guidelines on each of these mods and generally speaking we're going to go through the manual installation i prefer this method just to make sure everything is installed correctly and i feel like i can do that better when i do it myself i don't know maybe that's just a personal thing but the manual installation is very easy nonetheless as you can see here we do need ue4ss which you can find by clicking on this link here i will also have this link in the description it is just for the github you always want to make sure you have the most recent version of ue4ss Right now it is version 3.0.0, so we're going to go ahead and scroll down on the GitHub and we just need this top file here, the zip file for the actual UE4SS files themselves. We'll go ahead and download those, I have already done it. So once you have this file open, you're going to navigate over to Steam, right click Power World, go to Manage and go to Browse Local Files. That will open this folder right here. You're going to click on PAL, Binaries and Windows 64. This is not going to look the same for you because I already have this installed. However, all you need to do is simply drag over all of the files in this UE4SS zip file to the Windows 64 file in your PAL world files. Once that is done, you're actually just going to simply load the game. What's up guys, this is Woody editing here. I forgot to mention something that is very, very important. Once you have installed UE4SS for both systems, the Xbox Game Pass and Steam, you need to make sure you open the UE4SS settings and we're going to actually change a couple of things in this file. The most important thing, we need to make sure that B use U objective array cache is set to false. And then we want to scroll down just a little bit here and find graphics API, which by default will be OpenGL. We actually want to set that to DX11. And that should be everything you need to do to make sure your game is not crashing every time you load it. So we can go ahead and close the notepad and get back to where we were. Go ahead and close the patch notes as you normally would. And I would recommend personally giving it maybe three to five seconds. And then you can actually go ahead and close the game again. Once this is completely closed, we no longer need this UE4SS folder, so we can go ahead and close it. And once you have checked your files, you will notice that under content and packs, you will see a logic mods folder. This is where you can start installing your mods. Now, there are going to be some mods on these websites that use a different mods folder, such as this one here. You're able to have multiple, it's not a big deal, they don't conflict with each other. You can simply look at the description for the mods and they will walk you through where you should be placing the pack file. However, for PAL Analyzer, which is the one that we're talking about, as you can see, I do have it here already, but we will walk through how to do this regardless. You will find that on this same page under Files, and it is the very top option. Once you download this via the manual downloader, it will let you know you need UE4SS. We've already done that, so we can just click Download, and then the slow download because we don't have a premium account. So once we've opened that, we have logic mods. We don't need that. We already have the folder. So we can simply drag over palanalyzer.pack into this folder. And Bob's your uncle. Once we have installed palanalyzer, we can go ahead and boot up the game one more time. 
And once we've loaded back in, as you can see, the mod doesn't actually work on pals within your base because you can simply check the pal station and see their stats. However, if we are able to find some wild pals here, all you have to do to turn the mod on is use your left alt key. And you can see here, we are able to view this flax IVs, which are just beside its stats, as well as its passive skills and its active skills being its attacks. We're able to do this with anything in game that we have caught the proper amount of, which evidently I have not caught enough Vixies. However, when you look at Spark it here, you can see his attack IV is 23, defense is 76, and his hit points is 58. We also know that this is a work slave Spark it, and that it has Spark Blast as an attack. So this may be one that we decide we want to catch. Whereas this guy here has 92 attack IVs, which may be useful for breeding if you're interested in having a spark it with high attack IVs, but maybe we don't want this one because the defense and the hit points are very low. Now, let's go ahead and talk about how to install the exact same mod and the exact same UE4SS on the Xbox app. We are going to navigate over to the Xbox app. Make sure you click on Power World, the game we're actually talking about here. You're going to click the three dots, click Manage, click Files, and click Browse. This is going to open a similar folder, however, a very different one for Pal World. Now, this is going to function the same way it did for Steam, but with different folders. So essentially, we're going to install UE4SS under Pal World, Content, Pal, Binaries, and this time it is called WinGDK. Now, of course, we are going to need our UE4SS files back one last time. We will simply drag all of these into the WinGDK folder. What's up guys, this is Witty Editing here. I forgot to mention something that is very, very important. Once you have installed UE4SS for both systems, the Xbox Game Pass and Steam, you need to make sure you open the UE4SS settings, and we're going to actually change a couple of things in this file. The most important thing, we need to make sure that B use U Objective Array Cache is set to false. And then we wanna scroll down just a little bit here and find graphics API, which by default will be OpenGL. We actually wanna set that to DX11, and that should be everything you need to do to make sure your game is not crashing every time you load it. So we can go ahead and close the notepad and get back to where we were. And now we will launch our game as normal. Just like for the Steam version, I'd of course recommend giving it three to five seconds before you go ahead and close the game again. And now we simply repeat the other steps to install the mods in our Logic Mods folder. Now for the Xbox app, it is going to be very similar. You're going to click PAL, Content, Packs, and Logic Mods. And we have PAL Analyzer in here. Now we will load the game back up and double check that everything is working as intended. Now, as you can see, things did boot up successfully, and if we hold the Alt key, we can see this Kremis has 45 attack IVs, 70 defense, and 50 hit points. So, this is working as intended, and that is how you successfully install the mod on Game Pass. Most of the mods in Pal World can simply be installed in that Logic Mods folder via the pack files, but if there are any extra instructions, they tend to just be in the description of the mods page anyways. So. You can follow those if you have any further questions. And there is a chance that UE4SS has updated versions in the future. They might not be on 3.0.0 anymore, so if that's the case, make sure you follow the link in the description. I will try my best to keep it updated and download the most recent version because everything else should stay the same. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a good one now. Peace.